Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. Thought I'd do a vlog today as I've got quite a lot to do today. So I thought I might make an interesting vlog, but so far it's been very lazy. Benji woke up with Bonnie at 7 a.m., took her out, fed her, and then we all went back to sleep and woke up at about half eight. And then I just stayed in bed. I put an ad up for Readly. I just checked my emails and was just like, you know, scrolling. And then Benji woke up again. So he went back to sleep, woke up again. And then we've just been lying in bed and it's like 20 to 11. Um, I finally got back up. So I can take Bonnie back outside um, and she's just doing her business in the garden because obviously I haven't given her a walk yet. She's just picking a good spot to go. I'm just keeping an eye on her. But anyway, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another day in the life vlog. Kitchen still looks exactly how you saw it in the last vlog. In fact, actually the unit's here now and Benji's put spotlights like in the ceiling. Um, but as I said before, we're doing a whole separate video for that. Um, but yeah, so I'm coming to make, came downstairs, got dressed into like my workout gear because I am planning on doing a workout this morning, but I came downstairs and make a cup of tea and bring it back up to bed because it's absolutely freezing out here. So anyway, having a nice weekend. Yesterday I did some work all day filming and then Benji was doing kitchen stuff. He's actually been painting as well. Um, we've got a color called white mist in this room, which is like a very light gray, but obviously it's just not done yet. So anyway, I need to do loads of washing up today, like loads and don't know what to have for breakfast. This kitchen was lovely at the beginning of the week, like at the kitchen, is in our makeshift kitchen, the utility room, and over the week it just gets worse and worse and worse. I also was meant to change the bedding on Friday, but I realized that I hadn't washed it, so that's come out the tumble dryer, and oh gosh, that's the doorbell. That's my Amazon order, I think. Yep, yeah, that was Amazon. I bought myself a sound, protector mini booth thing for recording the podcast so it's a screen recording thing um just to help with the sound uh let's just pop this down here for a minute <sighs> take that back upstairs anyway i'm going to tidy up this horrible very messy dirty makeshift kitchen and put the rest of the bedding on so that i can change that today god it's so cold down here oh right Let's do a time lapse. Give me love, give me all your love. Right, the kettle is boiling. Haven't had any breakfast yet, and like I said, it's almost 11 a.m. I think. The day is just going already, so I don't know whether to bring Benji up. Peanut butter and toast. Yeah, maybe I'll do that for him. He hasn't asked for it, but maybe we'll do that. Oh, I forgot I bought proper big bagels. Normally we buy bagel thins, but they were out in Tesco, so I just got normal ones. I'll do us both a bagel. And I've just got a clean chopping board. Yeah, so today, breakfast in bed for both of us. Uh, do my workout, change the bedding, uh, clean, well, tidy up more than cleaning. Um, <laughs> Like there's only so much you can do when you're in the middle of a house renovation, but alas, I am doing my best. We already have dinner for tonight. My mum made us a lasagna, um, which she made enough to last two days, which is super kind. So that's good. We've got lasagna for dinner. Hold it in and make a cup of coffee for your head. So anyone else just get TikTok songs stuck in their head all day. Okay, it's now quarter to 12 and what have you been doing? I hear you ask. Well, got back into bed, ate breakfast and then... I was like, who are you talking to? I was over vlogging. <laughs> um, got back into bed, had breakfast and then Benji was watching some stuff on his iPad. So I uh, dug out the Switch and I played a little bit of Animal Crossing. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I've got a new guilty pleasure and I've discovered the Tycoon games. Now, I often don't hear enough people talk about like good, trashy Switch games to play. Like the really <laughs> bottom of the barrel, why do these games exist? But if you grew up playing like Farmville on Facebook and like all those really, really crap games, then you'll love it. <laughs> I have a 
haven't told them about this yet. This is how I wash <laughs> up. No, I got what I got a Santa game story. Anyway, no, <laughs> she's just discovered something else I got to tell you about. Anyway, so <laughs> stop. It hurts my back. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, so, um, so anyway, I discovered Breakfast Bar Tycoon, and it's basically a really trash version of Overcooked, so you have to, like, you know, the people come at the counter, and you have to make them, like, pancakes and all the breakfast stuff, like, eggs and sausage and whatever, and I completed the whole game in, like, less than a week. I was addicted to it, like, I was playing level after level after level. I must have spent maybe five or six hours absorbed in these games so far, and they've been such an amazing escapism, and today I just finished... What was the other one called? We had breakfast bar and this was food, food truck. truck tycoon and I now have salad bar and burger bar to do so I'm buzzing about my game so anyway I got really addicted to that playing but I've come downstairs with Benj because he's gonna obviously start painting and I'm setting myself up to do the washing up now I've discovered for the last couple of weeks I've obviously got a really bad back as we know I'm seeing a chiropractor seeing her again tomorrow my back hurts leaning down on the sink obviously, so obviously your kitchen's at a higher level so you do it all like that but I don't, for some reason that's like quite that sink is very low so as you can see I've set up a, set up a camping chair and then she just came in like what I'd never seen it before in there and I, was, I just it baffled me <laughs> I'm gonna set up Netflix and sit there and watch Rock it. And roll. Hey, at least I get it done, huh? No, whatever works. Uh, whatever works, exactly. So, I'm gonna get in here. What I do is I get in, get in, I put the stuff that needs to be washed up on the toilet, which sounds pretty gross, but like, it's just the, I don't have a lot of space to work with. This is only gonna be for maybe like, I don't know, one more week maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Once the work top's in and the sink. Good. So I've started watching Bridgerton on Netflix. I feel like everyone and their mum is watching it right now. And I don't really like period dramas. So I've never watched Handmaid's Tale or The Crown or um, Call, How, Call the Midwife, or whatever. Like, I've never watched any of those. Oh, Tiny Pretty Things. That looks like something I'd like. Oh. Look how icy it is outside. Block of ice. Oh my God, stop it. No, Bob, no. That's freezing. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. Anyway, um, so Bridgerton. Yes, I'm on episode three. Am I enjoying it? Hmm. I wouldn't say it's my favourite. I'm not addicted to it, but it's quite a nice little, little show to pop on while I do this very boring task. Right, this is what we're working with. Just started stripping the bed. I've got some fresh pillowcases and sheets. I've got an ironing board up because I was shooting some stuff yesterday so as you can see it's a bit of a mess all will make sense if you follow me on instagram and i've even got a bra back there brilliant bonnie's bed that's that so basically i've got to tidy up and this has already become full again that's clean we're trying to keep up aren't we <laughs> she just wants to play like i come down to take your your pudding from you and you don't want me to take it yeah, it is a mess. So I'm just trying to do one thing at a time. So washing up's done, the next wash is on, strip the bed, make it with what I have. I need to do a Joe Wicks workout. I need to walk Bonnie. I need to tidy up in here. They're my main priorities. So let's do it all. <laughs> and I've done quite a lot of organizing and tidying. There's still so much to do. I have decluttered my wardrobe and taken out some items that just haven't been worn over the last few months. I don't think I'm gonna get much wear out of. So I did get one of those charity bags coming through the door last week. So I'm gonna grab that downstairs, fill it up and then leave it outside on the day that they're coming. I need to do my workout, but I think I'm gonna walk Bonnie first because it's a bit, oh sorry darling, it's a bit of a um, warm up anyway. So I'm gonna put some contacts in, change out this outfit. I've opened up the window as well, just to let some fresh air in, even though it's so cold. Um, and obviously I haven't got the duvet on yet because that's currently being washed. So would you like to go to the park? Maybe we'll take a frisbee or something if you want, huh? Cool, let's do that. All right, we bought the frisbee, although there's absolutely no wind. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Look at this, 
Beautiful day. Right, see, she'll go again. Bonnie, where's she's? Go get it. I like it because it obviously never lands. Go and get it. <laughs> it never lands where she thinks it's going to land. It throws her off and then she struggles sometimes to pick it up. There we go. <laughs> what a good girl. Bring it here then. Good girl. I did ask Benji if he wanted to come, but he is so busy doing the painting. You're so good. You're so good. Okay, right, ready? Ready. Come on in. She loves a frisbee. It's so good to take different toys out on a walk and a dog because I can't throw it this far in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> good girl. We first discovered this when we went glamping. She's taking it away with her. Go and get it. I know it's so simple and everyone says it. And in the moment, you don't always want to get out. But getting some fresh air and going for a walk, it actually sometimes surprises you. Because, yeah, it looked nice out. But honestly, it's so much nicer than I thought it was going to be. The grass has recently been cut, so it's like lovely to walk on. Bonnie's loving it. It's really quiet. There's only one other family just kicking a ball around which is nice. I'm so lucky to live so close to this park. I, when we bought the house, we parked up on this, I think it was the second or third viewing, and we walked around the local area. So how far was it to walk to the local shop, the local gym, the local parks? And we saw this park and we were like, oh, that'd be perfect if we ever get a dog. Yeah, it's amazing how much life can change in like just a short space of time. But Oh, I'm just so grateful. Okay, so I had to pick up some work stuff quickly. And as I was at my desk, I printed out some paperwork that Benji needed. And then I planned out my week. So obviously, if you saw my plan with me video, you'll know exactly how I like to plan. So I've got all my stickers out. And it takes me about half an hour to sit and like go through everything. Look at the week before, look at the week ahead. I like to take my time. Somebody in the comments actually of that video said, oh, this is like your version of a form of self-care. And it made me think, it is. It makes me feel so zen and good. Like, I sit there, I make it look pretty, I plan out what my priorities are, I get things done, I get great satisfaction ticking things off. I really enjoy my job, so I enjoy, like, mapping out what's going where, invoicing, scheduling, sending insights to brands, videos, podcasts. Like, I'm loving my planner and sitting there and doing it. It makes me so happy, so... Anyway, the day has now escaped me and Ben just gone down to the yard where half our kitchen is being stored and it's now quarter to three and I haven't done my workout yet and if I if I push it any later, I just won't do it. So I'm gonna go and do it. Okay, so I've done my workout and I thought I'd talk about a few things that helped me to get motivated to work from home, work out from home. First of all, I have all these lovely photos hung up in this room of happy memories, favorite moments, friends, family, and just me looking and feeling my best, like my most confident, like particularly like this picture here of me on the cruise of Megan. This is my favorite um, dress. Like I love my outfit there. Um, I think I look good there. So, and like here in Animal Kingdom, I really like the way I look and I remember how I felt, which I know sounds crazy, but like seeing those pictures just helps me want to work out. Another reason is I pretty much have to because of my back. If I don't keep myself fit and active, then I seize up. And obviously I'm seeing the chiropractor tomorrow, but it's really, really helped me. This time round, having more exercise in has helped a lot. Um, another thing is I play like workout music out loud as well, which I know sounds obvious, but Bonnie. So the Joe Wicks app I have on my phone on the ledge here, and then I get my iPad to play something out loud on YouTube because it can't play two sounds at the same time when I'm in the app. So I do that, then I play the music out loud and it just helps me stay like motivated. And then the last tip is I actually don't wear a top, I just work out in my sports bra and the shorts. And the reason for that is because I'm much more comfortable. I don't get as like sweaty and sticky and hot. I just put this back on for the sake of vlogging, but I just work out in my sports bra because it doesn't matter, no one's looking at me. So they're all the things that really work. I do actually have a mat down on the floor as well here which I'm just, just gonna leave out because, you know, no one's coming over or staying. In fact, nobody has stayed in our spare room yet since we moved in, because we moved in in February 2020. So yes, Bonnie just wants to play and cuddle, but I desperately need to go and have a shower. Benji's back from the yard and he's got the bits he needs, so he's working on the kitchen. 
oh, and I am hot and sweaty and normally if I do like a big cardio workout I'm really red in my face but the Joe Wicks hit today was a lot of squatting and planks and all sorts of other th stuff so anyway just tidying up and as I was putting things away I thought I'd show you I can't remember if I showed you I bought these ears off of Shop Disney UK don't think they're available still but if they are I'll leave them linked but I bought these gorgeous ones that have like air in the ears and loads of little stars and mickeys in there look at that I absolutely love them so I had to get those and then I also saw these ones and I just loved the bow I already have silver ears but silver with the spotty oh just gorgeous it's making me so excited to wear them again in a park love them so yeah I'm gonna put them away in my box above the wardrobe with all my Disney bits. <laughs> also, while I'm here putting things away, I thought I'd show you. I haven't bought much in the sales or done any January sale shopping, but I did manage to get on the Lush sale. They didn't have a lot left, but almost everything was sold out. But I did manage to get my hands on two Merry Christmas box sets, box sets, gift sets, <laughs> boxes. Um, and inside is this selection of bath bombs. Um, and these were like £12.50 each, half price. So I was pretty happy about that. So yeah, I got two of those. And then I also went on the Christie website and bought the exact same set that we already have, um, our bedding, our favorite bedding. Uh, this is normally really expensive. And again, I think we got it, was it 50% off? So I'm gonna pop that above the wardrobe as well. And it's starting to look good up here now. I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to get it all done today. But um, yeah, I've started to clear the hallway a little bit and organise some stuff. So I'm going to pop these things away now. Take these out of the boxes because they're just bulky. And store them in the bathroom. So good. Okay, it's eight o'clock and we've just come up to bed. I've just put the duvet on now and it smells so lovely. I've had a Yankee candle burning. This is white linen and lace it was given to me for christmas and it smells so nice in here like with that candle and the fresh bedding it smells like well yeah fresh <laughs> fresh washing um but we just finished watching modern family and you can watch season 11 in the uk on now tv and oh it made me cry my eyes out mostly because when you love a show so much and then it comes to an end you just sort of feel like oh so sad that it's over but yeah it was so good like i absolutely loved it i think it's one of my favorite tv series ever so easy to watch all the characters are really likable watching those kids grow up has been such a joy and it's just a really great tv series so if you're looking for something fun and light-hearted to watch i really recommend modern family uh, i think most of it is on netflix for the first 10 seasons i'm not quite sure but i think a lot of it is on there now but um anyway we are we've just done a quick zoom call for half an hour with some friends to say hello uh just trying to stay in touch and like keep in touch with people which has been nice but yeah i'm just looking forward to getting into bed i think that's everything for me so if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed really click subscribe and i'll see you again in another video very soon thanks for watching bye